what's up guys 915 man here doing a video today on the surf algae turf scrubber that I picked up from Santa Monica filtration and I just wanted to give you an update on it I showed you an unboxing uh, a couple of weeks ago more like a month or so and uh, let's go ahead and get into it with a nice little update then we'll show you the tank in its current state the thing about algae turf scrubbers is um, they kind of take a little bit of, to get started. They do take a little while. It's not like an instant thing where you throw some chemicals and the chemicals go into effect immediately. This is a natural way of removing algae from your display tank. Um, it goes by the amount of food that you feed your tank. Uh, and this they pretty much go by how many cubes a day you throw in your tank Which for me, I only throw in one cube a day and that's uh, Sometimes I don't feed a cube a day every day as you can see Fast forward a couple of weeks. You can see that it has started to get green Those green strings were actually white and they're called algae grabbers. Okay, they grow on there and then you kind of just let it forget about it. That's what I did. I said it, rinsed it out, forgot about it. Later on, this is where we're at. You can see my skimmer is still working. Um, lots of crap in there. But with the skimmer, I'm also running this scrubber. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this. Boom. You can see that dark green uh, algae right there. It looks really good. Um, when I took it out and I went ahead and cleaned it, um, there was lots of lots of pods in there, which is a, another good thing. It gives your your pods a place to hide and Pods are good for a tank because they help maintain the tank and they're a natural food source source for your fish Like your wrasses and things like that, but you can see this is a nice thick Harvest of algae which I'm gonna go ahead and pull out here in a minute as it grows out you want to go ahead and start harvesting taking it out so that more algae could grow in there and it just doesn't you know collect long story short would I recommend you get an algae turf scrubber yes can you make your own yes are they hard to make no all right but this one what I like I just set it forget it leave it alone I left that light running 24 7 and that was it they like I said it did come with the cloth where you can like adjust it slowly and all that I didn't even do that I just put the Thing on top of it and just hooked up the air bubble air pump to it and let it go uh, here we are it's growing you know you, like I said it's not an instant thing it does take a little bit of time because it's a natural way to get all all your phosphates okay this will go ahead and keep the algae out of your tank as best as possible as long as you maintain your tank uh, somewhat um, but this really did work there was a ton of pods in here, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, with the downfall algae turf scrubber, the waterfall type, um, I like those. But the salt creep, I had made my own, and the salt creep was too much for me. I just, it was like too much of a mess, and I wasn't happy with it. This one, I just connected an air pump that I got from Amazon for 20 bucks, hooked it up, and uh, you know what? I just let it go. The thing, the loudest thing about this is the air pump, and the air pump is loud if you really listen to it. Other than that, you really don't notice it, and it's a big-ass air pump that I have, too. So I'm curious, how many of you guys are using algae turf scrubbers? Would you guys consider using it? Um, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't take a, a whole lot of space in my sump, and um, I don't have to have that light on 24-7 for my fuge uh, because it just grows in the box. Um, there's bigger surfs. This is the surf 2. There's bigger than that if you really need it But uh, like I said, it goes by how many cubes a day you feed your tank and I only feed my tank maybe one cube a day So uh, I guess that's probably why it might have took a little while for it to get started But look at the end result Got lots of uh, turf algae right there and uh, looking looking pretty good other than that um, I do want to say uh, I like these little buckets that I have. Um, this is the only one that I got from the Coral Reef. Recommended a little tiny bucket for you guys. 
because I uh, take off my skimmer head and I use it so that ain't no uh, fish crap gets on the floor and things like that. So if they have another uh, bucket like that, hook me up Coral Reef. Um, good buckets, guys. Now let's go ahead and get into the 180 display tank update. I know I haven't done an update here in a while and uh, I'll show you at the end why. So I've been busy and you can see it on my tank. Um, I have algae on the glass. I have green hair algae in the tank. And uh, I just haven't been maintaining my uh, tank. I haven't done any water changes at all. And um, it's starting to show a little bit. You know, they have these green hair algae in my tank in between the bird's nest, which is not good. Because if you leave it like that, it'll start to kill your corals. Your corals can't breathe because they have this green hair algae all over the place. Um, polyps have taken over the tank. I haven't. I need to frag. I haven't even fragged um, at all, and uh, it shows. You know, this is one of the main pieces right here that I need to frag because those polyps are just loving the dirty water in the tank. But it's not always good. Having a reef tank, you know, I'm not just going to always show you the good side, the good stuff, you know, on the when I'm on the up and up. I'm going to show you how it is. And this is how it is in its current state. Surprisingly, though, when I uh, clean the glass, a lot of everything looked like if I did maintain the tank, despite having the green hair algae. Um, I do have some tongs. And I'm going to use those tongs to pull out as much green hair algae manually. And then go from there. Uh, as we speak today, I am back on the ball. I'm going to go ahead and do a 20 gallon water change and um, go from there. Now, the hope of having the uh, surf scrubber, the algae turf scrubber, is that I can do less water changes um, and uh, still have a nice reef tank. So, you might say, why haven't you been keeping up with your maintenance? Why haven't you been fragging? Why haven't the reason why is I've been busy, guys. Um, I've been busy going to extracurricular activities, watch that take all day. Uh, usually, typically Saturdays is all day from the morning to the evening on Saturdays. And then, you know, when you get home, it's late at night, and then you just can't do anything as far as your reef tank goes or push out videos. So that's why I haven't uh, done that. But you know what? It usually happens to me in the month of October. October is gone, November's here, and uh, it's time to get back on the ball and go ahead and take care of things. But I want to show you this green slimer. You can see his branches doesn't know that I haven't been maintaining my tank. They're thick branches. They're nice and green, and uh, everything else is doing really good, despite my glass being dirty. And you know I need to clean out my pumps. I'll just clean out my pumps one by one with soaking them in some vinegar and uh, go from there brand new again. You can see the stuff that I fragged is back. The Xenia, I set, fragged that sucker all the way down to where it was just barely hanging on to the live rock. And it's a full colony again. Uh, something to consider when you get Xenia. I had got a little bit and um, you can see it just took off. The stuff that I used to clean my glass is the flipper. Highly recommend the flipper. Um, the fish like it when I clean the glass. I haven't cleaned it in a while. Um, but as you can see, everything still looks okay, guys. And uh, I guess that's probably on the up and up of having a big tank of a 180. It takes a while for things to change. And usually when they change, it's very, very little. But if I had like a nano and I was trying to be lazy like this, I think I would have a, a nice little disaster. Well, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, we got some vid more videos coming out towards the end. And I'm going to show you what I've been up to uh, this past couple of weeks. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like and subscribe. You have a good one. Take care.